Chenka. Doesn't looks nice, right? Not so bad like last time. It's Saturday. We are scraping for money because we want to go out. We emptied our burger. We wanted to take some cash out from the ATM, but we went in the morning and they said like both of the machines aren't working. And we want to get something to eat. Because we don't have a car and it's always very like difficult for us to go grocery shopping. I always order like in stock like our plant milk because it's like very large i order like 20 or 30 at a time and they are valid for a long time so that is more convenient for us best husband in the world my seat was really <laughs> wet from rain and he said first Is to make this as wet now? No, no that's okay perfect i'm just going live maybe from that is so the cool. bike i have a phone clamp here i can also charge it so it's pretty nice he doesn't want to be recorded while eating but for me these parts are always the most interesting things to watch when I watch YouTube so we are just eating falafel it's vegan it's really tasty we have like our standard store which is close to our house and today we used a different topping so I'm really curious how it will taste it's chilling out time it's always really nice to be in the garden like especially when it's sunny outside otherwise I would even come here and you can just like lie under the tree and have such a nice view there there's the pond like always so it's fun also I cut my hair nah no I didn't cut my hair I went to a hairdresser and every single time like whenever I'm in India Nobody has a problem in understanding like how I want my hair cut But here, it's been two years now I finally, in middle, I found a hairdresser who really could understand what I want But afterwards, I went to the same place and they told me like the hairdresser is gone So, now it is going to be a complete horror again for, I don't know, however long time until I come back to India just to get a haircut I would do that to be honest like if I had money I would just go to India to have a haircut because I don't know I think they just don't know how to cut hair here and our signature Bijana in a very nice place we are picking himbean what is it called I don't raspberries. know raspberries they're really tasty and look my basket is completely empty Alina's is full because Not I'm full. just eating everything you can eat as much as you want. Guck mal, die ist schwer abzumachen, dann ist die noch nicht reif, Louis. Louis? Mama, Vater! Da oben muss auch. Hey, look. Yeah, the plan was, the original plan was that we wanted to go to the Indian supermarket and get some poha. Alina was really craving for poha somehow. 
So we wanted to get that, but... Am I pregnant or what? <laughs> I don't know, you know. Are you? Maybe. Yeah, you look like it for sure. As much as I hate my haircut, I really have no other option here somehow. Because it's been two years now and I still couldn't find one normal hairdresser who really understands what I want. In India it's so nice, like you just go to any of them and they know exactly what to do. Here it's different, they want to cut your hair like a white person's hair and when the hair type is completely different. After some time like this starts getting embarrassing to be honest. It squeaks so goddamn loud. Look. This is a nice area like you know in most, in most of the cities you have these small garden associations. So you can just go there and take a look at the different gardens that people maintain. Um, Alina's grandparents garden is just like one of them. So they also like take care of it. So right now I'm using the pedal assist mode. It's nice, so like I still get to pedal and my right hand is free. Otherwise I have to like, you know, just pedal a bit too hard. Yeah, so that's another problem like with this bike because the tires are so small. I just fucking hate my hair like. So we want to just get something that we can make in the garden. So we are just taking some bread. We'll take some other things want to buy some falafel so that we can just fry it bread is already here and this is what we are thinking about and got my beer there's this thing going on these days every single time we go inside the supermarket I tell Alina that you know let's just guess what kind of price both of us are going to have for the things we buy and every single time she turns out to be like perfectly exact with the price. I said 10 euros and we just turned out with 10 euros again. So Alina is still having some problems in handling the bike. Chinka, the modes are pretty easy. This one, the one on the right, it's pedal assist, middle one is only pedaling and this one is with the throttle. Okay. Try. That used to be the local water tower, but now there are just apartments there, very very expensive apartments and the waiting list goes on for years if you want to take a place there. Du es. Hallo. Darf ich auch reinkommen, Luis? Look, at least her grandparents have the fan. We don't have one at home. I want something like that for home. The USB fan that I got, it was just like for two euros. Two euros and fifty cents. But it was a very, very nice investment. Like if you need it, if it's hot, if it's too hot, you just like turn it on whenever you want. Food for now is going to be hummus, some of this, I don't know, bulgur. They have a fan it's gefährlich. Sehr gefährliche Sachen. Mm -hmm. 